Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 24 of Reptile Genetics Weekly, where we use DNA to learn more about the animals that we all are obsessed with and love. Uh, thankful to have you here today. Um, as always, want to start with an update for samples and results for people. Um, so today I am finishing up the analysis for the really big run we did. So as many of you know, many of you have probably had samples that were affected. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had some problems where the single gene and two gene tests failed. Um, so all of those are coming through the, on this run and then new ones as well. So, so anyway, lots of analyzing to do. Um, I should have that done today and start getting results out. Um, and then Sean is still gone. So getting results reported might take a little longer than normal. I might need to still be working on that tomorrow. But anyway, some results should start going out today and then tomorrow and uh, hopefully we can get them all out to y'all. I know you've been waiting on them, and I know there's a big show this weekend that we'll maybe mention a little later uh, that people want results for, but we are on it. And then um, I already have um, sheds here for the next batch. So as soon as I'm done analyzing and reporting, I'll start right away on the next batch. Um, so next week on Wednesday and Thursday is probably when we'll have another batch of results going out. So if you're thinking, that you should have some coming through this week and they don't, then just know the next batch will just be, you know, a week or a week and a day behind that. So lots coming. All right, Kayla, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How about you, Ben? I'm a little bit fried. When you look at the A's, T's, C's, and G's for too long, I am I'm looking forward. I've, yeah. I was very excited to have baby season and see how busy we would be and very thankful. You know, so many of you have used our services and that's what mm -hmm. I wanted, but I've definitely, it's, it's definitely grown to the point where we need to uh, scale up the analysis and figure out ways to make it more efficient. Definitely. So I know you've been working hard this summer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I've been frying my brain on the analysis side, um, yeah. but I already know, I already have ideas of how to make it better. And actually on one of our lives, there are some people that had some suggestions and yeah and so that was really cool hearing from them and and uh so yeah it'll get better but these next couple <laughs> i still gotta do this way until probably till after tinley i hope after tinley i'll be able to have some time to uh you know optimize the analysis part and uh we might even pick up somebody uh more hours for somebody named kayla and so uh, <laughs> yeah i would love that please <laughs> that might help yeah. free me up so that I can do things like that, make the analysis so that it's more efficient. And that will also help get results faster to people. So, so we're working on it, but like Definitely. with everything else we do, I'm not going to switch to another analysis, you know, another way of doing analysis until it's at least as good, if not better than what I'm doing right now, as far as, you know, not having mistakes, the quality control is super important to me. So Absolutely. But we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. Uh, plus, all that hard work has been paying off because we've got some new stuff rolling out, I hear. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. So we did talk about this a little bit, but officially, uh, this morning was the first time I saw it. It could have been sometime uh, later yesterday, but mm -hmm. uh, Morph Market does have VPI Xanthic up and they do have Cryptic up. Yes. So those are available. And from what I've heard, uh, Clutch should be adding them both very soon. So. Mm -hmm. uh, our uh, vendors were very thankful to both Clutch and Morph Market for all they do. And sometimes Clutch puts it up a little bit before Morph Market or Morph Market gets it up a little bit before Clutch. But uh, yeah. we're, we're very thankful. I know that that takes a lot of work on their end, too, to make everything run smoothly. And they have kind of the same philosophy that, that we do. We want to make sure everything is working properly as, as good as it possibly can be before we release it. So, yeah. And, you know, anybody who's done coding before, you know, sometimes websites can be a little, they, they can be a little scary when things go live. So fair enough. Yeah. But everybody's gotten their stuff. And so keep an eye on Morph Market or Clutch, whichever vendor you use. And we'll, uh, you'll see Cryptic and VPI Xanthic coming up real quick. Yes. And then I'm hoping next week we'll have Red Stripe too, but we'll see. Yeah. Here's hoping. Um, <laughs> so, hey, I know those photos. Um, so we are going to be at... Uh, at the Arlington, Texas reptile show, um, this weekend. Uh, so I'm going to be there as well as Allie, who's the other part-timer for rare genetics who helps out with Sean. Um, and, uh, we're going to be at, uh, um, at a table with Feely's clutch or John of, um, uh, Feely's clutch. So he has been, uh, fantastic and super helpful in letting us share a table with him. 
Um, and we're going to be handing out um, exclusive merch for our shows. So the same stuff that was at Pomona, that was at uh, Daytona with Sean, that's going to be here. Um, and so, yeah, come see us. Uh, I know you guys know my face, but Allie's there in the middle. Uh, and I'm excited to meet her in person, too. I've only ever talked to her uh, over message uh, today. So that'll be good fun. Come find us. Yes. And John as well. He'll have some nice animals there and he'll have some merch there. And Absolutely. Very thankful for, to him for uh, accommodating us. Yeah, seriously. Um, I, uh, I actually have a bit about John, I think, in the next slide. But before we move past the merch, uh, if you don't have the if you aren't going to make it to any of the shows that we're going to be at uh we do have our regular merch um that is going to be linked in the description for the video so all of that goes into developing new gen into developing new genetic tests i actually had a uh, one of the women's racer backs that came in um and i completely forgot to wear it for the show but uh it's comfy mm -hmm. <laughs> good so there he is yeah so there's john on the right so this is uh at pomona and randy mm -hmm. in the middle and I was, yeah, asking, I was asking John if Randy's going to be at Arlington. It sounded like he didn't know for sure yet. So any of you that know Randy, you have to reach out to him. Tell him he should go. Yeah, no, go, go spam his DMs. Hey, come to Arlington. <laughs> both, both Sean and I <laughs> wish we could be there. I'll, yeah. I'll be uh, setting up the next run through the weekend, and Sean will still be gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's okay. We'll still we'll still have a good time, and I'm, I'm looking forward to getting photos and pictures with everybody who – uh wants a little shout out on our social media so it'll be good fun yes so previously on reptile genetics weekly yeah so we have the uh super secret uh complex that we had tests that we're going to be able to release soon and so this last week i got some information back from hannah seidel dr hannah seidel and from the <laughs> eastern michigan group that we've talked about many times so she's working with her students there, providing them with an opportunity to, to do real science, real, you know, for, for us in our industry, cutting edge science uh, to provide uh, genetic tests and more, more knowledge about color and pattern mutations in ball pythons. Um, so yeah, she reached out to me and, and gave me some info. And so I will be validating some uh, drum roll, please. <laughs> so blue-eyed Lucy complex more, yeah. uh, tests. So um, Mojave, Phantom slash Mystic, Bamboo and Russo. So those are the ones that we'll have first. And she's working on the others as well. And uh, mm -hmm. so on the next slide, I think we have listed, she, she asked specifically for a few things. So any of you, like out of everything today in this show, if any of you have a Super Bamboo, a Super Mocha, a Super Special, or even a Mocha or a Special, um, those sheds, right now like in the next couple of weeks if you can get those to dr seidel those will be very helpful in finishing up um, some of the rest of the complex and so we would love to have you send those in um, so there's the information here also you can just google ball python genetics project um, you can also look on i think she has both instagram and facebook mm -hmm. for the genetic ball python genetics project so yeah definitely but, a yeah. facebook i'm not sure about the instagram but uh, either way, I'm going to make sure to link it in the description. So uh, yeah. you will have all the links there uh, this time around. Um, and yeah, no, a, a lot of times when we live stream, folks will ask, hey, what kind of sheds are you looking for? We don't usually ask for them. This is one. Now's the um, time. Now is the time. Tell your friends. Uh, and yeah, help, help out Hannah because she's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're going to be at Arlington and you have one of these and you want to just hand it to Kayla, you can hand it to Kayla and we'll get it to to Dr. Seidel. We'll happily yes. do that. That works Most definitely. Too. Last note, actually, uh, I'll let Ben take this one. Yeah. So I just wanted to mention another way that you can help support what we're doing in developing new genetic tests in ball pythons. And then from then on, we'll do other species as well. But for right now, uh, ball python genetic tests. Um, another thing you can do is, is uh, if you're looking to buy a ball python, check out Reptile Genetic Services. So this is actually the uh, the business that I started um, before I started Rare Genetics Inc. And I didn't know if I was going to have DNA testing and breeding be just one business or if I was going to have two separate <laughs> businesses. So I gave this a name that I thought would work if I just do everything under one name. <laughs> and yeah. then uh, Sean came along and we came up with a much better name and separate business for the DNA testing. But 
but anyway, so that's why the, the name's so similar. Um, so Reptile Genetic Services, um, we have all of our available animals on Morph Market. Well, we have some available animals. We'll be adding more. Um, my uh, business partner for the breeding business is named Keevan, and he uh, has this last year been doing a tattooing apprenticeship. So he's been super busy. <laughs> he's mm -hmm. had some other things going on in his personal life. Um, so we, we haven't done uh, as much updating on Instagram and Facebook, uh, but we do have both Instagram, Facebook, and then the Morph Market is where we list the available animals. But uh, yeah, you yeah. go check out Reptile Genetic Services and see something we have listed that you're interested in. Uh, that yeah, would be another way to support development of new tests. Yeah, they've got some cool stuff. Uh, actually, one of the pictures we have listed here is uh, an animal from a partho clutch. So if you can guess what that is, uh, or go find it on Instagram. You can find it there too. But um, once in a while, I'll get to co go up and actually visit their snake room. Ben and Keevan have so many cool animals. It's it's really worth checking it out if you're in the market for a ball python or just want to be nosy about what Ben does on his in his free time. So. <laughs> yeah, um, I hatched hatched out my very first ball pythons in 2003. So this is yeah. my twentieth twentieth year this year hatching out ball pythons. Oh. And then does, any of does you it get that, less exciting? No, it doesn't. Every <laughs> time they come out of the egg, I've told so many people over the last mm -hmm. 20 years that when they're hatching out of the egg, some of the other parts, you know, cleaning up poop and stuff like that, maybe that gets old sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> and taking care of the rodents. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, when those babies hatch out, that definitely is just as exciting. Kevin and I never, you know, do any like, you know, if, if we're going to slit a clutch at some point, we don't ever do that unless we're both there. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's awesome. Yeah, no, it's like, yeah. it's like Christmas morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so. if any of you are interested in colubrids, I do have some Honduran milk snakes as well. I have some some nice hypos that are still available from last year. And they are the real first pretty. Clutch, first clutch from this year is an albino Honduran clutch that's about to hatch should be sometime in the next week. So mm-hmm uh good eaters too i've seen it it's ferocious so yeah, <laughs> yeah. they are yeah. healthy they spoil me compared to the ball pythons it's not yeah. hard to, to get the hondurans to eat <laughs> well good all right um so that's actually all we have today um just a lot of well honestly some really cool updates it was like a lot of uh, <laughs> little small things just thrown at you this episode so yes. yeah yeah let us know what you think um drop a like subscribe comment um you know maybe check out the flip-flop that ben has next to his head you know um <laughs> and uh yeah um any um anything else ben no nope, just sincere thank you for those that watch and for those that that uh you know use the testing service this is what's yes. allowing me to to do the work that i've dreamed of doing over the last 10 years up to this point so Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Definitely. And um, uh, I can speak for everybody who's uh, watched this project from from the get go. It's been awesome to be along for the ride. So. All right. Uh, yeah, let's call that a wrap. Outro in three, two, one.